All right, Crazy Medusa family, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Now, today's video is a little different because we're going to talk about something that I wish I knew through high school, through undergrad, through my master's, and it could have literally saved me hundreds of hours. Let's talk about PDFs. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, like obviously there are some because we're growing so fast. Uh, my name is Saloni Verma and I am a biomedical engineer currently working in upstate New York. And I have studied at Harvard, Cornell, and something that I dreaded throughout my kind of like journey studying as a student was just formatting documents. Um, basically, uh, I would spend all of this time like preparing the assignment, but something that I thought that was complete waste of time was editing the documents, resizing them, putting them in the right format. Like who even knew what PDF stand for? Did you know that it stands for portable document format like i had to look that up right needless to say things got pretty annoying so one assignment that comes to my mind particularly is this course that i had in my grad school which was biomaterials and a part a huge part of that whole course was to uh, kind of go through all of these research papers to study the current technology and summarize them and write them in like your own words of course like to get hang of like what a research paper writing looks like manuscripts and this would take hundreds of hours and while i would upload this document i remember there was this one time i literally submitted an assignment at 11 59 pm while the deadline was midnight and this could have been done a lot more faster a lot more stress-free if there was a better approach to this now i know you guys might be thinking that you know you can just kind of like do this online and that's true like of course there are a ton of um you know pdf converters that are available online but you know something that i recently got to know was every time you convert a document from an online based pdf editor you know those really 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 tiny terms and conditions that are on the bottom of the screen it basically says that they're storing the information that you're actually converting. So, you know, some specific and precise information about you, whatever is in that document may be stored on the internet, which is a pretty scary thing. So let's talk about a bit more safer way to do this. So I recently came across PDF Element by Wondershare and it's very similar to Acrobat PDF. And the cool thing about this is it's a lot more recent with like the user interface. And what I've heard from, you know, all the reviews is that it gives you a lot more flexibility to kind of like edit the PDF itself without having to go back and forth with conversions. So I haven't really like tested it out and which is why I wanted to kind of do it together in this video. Let's take a look at what this whole platform is all about. Now, just for this video, I am going to pick up one of my old, old biomaterials assignment and kind of edit it and see uh, what I can do with this platform and what it allows me. So right off the bat, the app is pretty simple to download on your iPad. And when you open it, you can kind of just like drag and drop your um, document. And the entire document is as I need it uh, on the platform. And you have like some basic functions on the top highlighting strike through underline you know let's see how the highlighting function looks like so you can kind of like scroll mark up if you need to i did a pretty bad job but basically just like underline stuff and you know just mark important things um well i like the highlight one look it, it gets it gets it so like neat uh i know some of the other platform when you like highlight it kind of is like a scribble but here like look at that i'm just literally highlighting just random things and it's doing a pretty good job of like detecting where i want the highlight to go and i think you can choose different colors as well so perfect you have all the op options to choose from if you want to color code your highlights that's pretty neat let's see what this call out feature is it makes labeling figures so much easier you know all right so now apart from all of these like edits that you can do on the document itself the second option that I see on the top is to kind of edit a text that lets, lets you immediately select uh, one type of text that you want and you can kind of like edit it, uh, you know, type in as you go. Um, it's doing a pretty good job of detecting what I want to type in there. But let's talk about the images, which is a pretty big like, you know, function that I would use um, when I was kind of like doing my uh, assignments um, but here you have the option of actually selecting an image and you can kind of move it around within the document you can align it as you want you can also resize it that's pretty cool and i know word document that does this weird oh my god i hate it like aligning to the left right strike through within bleed whatever oh like whoever understood these functions up till now 
but I like how, you know, it's so pretty, it's really easy, the navigation to kind of edit the images. And the other feature that I liked was going back to the first option, you can also add signatures or temporary signatures on here, uh, which makes the whole like kind of like brings it all, all together. Uh, some of these features are also in like Acrobat PDF, but um, I don't think Acrobat lets you uh, kind of edit so freely and fluidly. And uh, the other thing that I liked is you have all of these watermarks that you can add. Um, you also have the option of adding a custom watermark to, you know, protect your documents. I know this isn't too like uh, popular in schools and colleges, but for me, like when I'm working, I know I use this a lot, um, like draft uh, watermarks or confidential and stuff like that. The one thing that I found, you know, uh, just going through navigating through the app is it kind of combines the Word document and PDF Acrobat all together. So you have all of the features um, that you would to edit your text, as well as all of your features that you would to edit a PDF document, signatures, images, resizing, highlighting, all of that stuff. The other cool feature that I liked about PDF Element is you can also edit scanned documents. I know I use this a lot uh, working and I know a lot, a lot of you students, uh, you may get some assignments that are in like a scanned format and it's a pain because once you scan them, it kind of like, it's set in stone, you cannot do anything with it. But PDF Element does allow you to also edit the scanned documents with something called as an OCR tool. It's a pretty cool tool that you can use uh, on this app. And that kind of like adds to the whole um, abundance of features that uh, this platform provides. All right, guys, so this was my take on sort of like a different kind of video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of kind of reviewing different, uh, you know, platforms that might be useful to you guys as students. Um, I know this is slightly different from the take that we do on college tips, but I'd really like to know what you guys think. Now, if you've gotten to this point, don't think that I'll leave you hanging. Of course, there's gonna be a sign up link in the description below for PDF element that you can used to you know sign up explore all of the options that they have and there's also be going to be a discounted link uh, that you can sign up for some of their premium features at a discount rate because you guys are the crazy medisa family so definitely take advantage of that um and yeah edit away um that's pretty much about it uh that's all for this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye